In this video I'm going to look at concentration of solutions. So the first thing we'll do is just explain what we mean by concentration. So obviously chemists carry out reactions involving solutions. We often do calculations based on those solutions. So concentration of a solution is basically a measure of how much substance, so solute is the proper word, how much substance has been dissolved into a certain volume of solution and that certain volume is one decimeter cubed or one dm cubed for short. So that amount of substance could be measured in the number of moles that you've got so concentration can be a measure of how many moles per decimeter cubed so that would have those units there mole slash dm cubed or concentration could also be a measure of the mass dissolved in a decimeter cubed and you can see there that, that would have the units g slash dm cubed. So just to visualize that, so we're talking about how many moles are in a specific volume, a decimeter cubed, or how many grams are in a decimeter cubed. So before we go into any calculations, it's probably a good idea to explain what a decimeter cubed is because it's not really a, a common unit that we're used to. So on the left there, we've got a, a bottle of squash and typically these bottles of squash are one liter, which you might be familiar with, but one liter is actually the same as one decimeter cubed. And on the right there, you can see we've got a dice and typically a dice would have the volume of one centimeter cubed. So you can see just looking at the two pictures that a decimeter cubed is a larger volume than a centimeter cubed. So how many times larger? Well, it's a thousand times larger. So one decimeter cubed is the same as 1000 centimeters cubed. So that means going the other way that a centimeter cubed is a thousandth of a decimeter cubed. So that would be 0 0.001 of a decimeter cubed. So in a lot of concentration calculations, you've got to be comfortable with converting centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed. So hopefully this next little bit will help with that and then we'll go into some calculations. So to go from dm cubed to cm cubed, you multiply by a thousand and going the other way, you divide by a thousand. So for example, 0 0.5 of a decimeter cubed, so we're going this way. So if we multiply 0 0.5 by 1000, we get 500, so that's why they are equivalent. And if you have 25 cm cubed, so how many decimeters cubed is 25 cm cubed? We divide by 1000 to get it into dm cubed, so that's 0 0.025 of a decimeter cubed. So we'll start with some very basic calculations. I've got a couple of these and then we'll go into some more typical calculations that you would get in the exam. So these, this one here I'm sure you can do in your head. So if you've got 10 grams of a chemical that's dissolved in 0.25 of a decimeter cubed, well what we want to know is how many grams would be equivalent in a decimeter cubed and then that would be the concentration. So if you just think about the volume going from there to there, so that's a quarter of a decimeter cubed, that's a decimeter cubed, so this volume here is four times that. So to keep the concentration of that solution the same as that one, you're gonna need four times as many grams as you've got in here. So you would need 40 grams in the larger beaker for the solutions to have the same concentration. And so we would say that this solution has a concentration of 40 grams per decimeter cubed. So we'll look at this one now. This is a moles per decimeter cubed one. So we've got 0 0.5 of a mole in 0.125 of a decimeter cubed. How many moles would there be in a decimeter cubed? So if you know your decimals, that's an eighth. So this 
is an eighth of a decimeter cubed. So if we're multiplying the volume by eight, we also multiply the moles by eight. And so we'd need four moles in that decimeter cubed. And so this solution has a concentration of four moles per decimeter cubed. In fact, they both do, but it's easier to see it in this one. So often the volumes won't be as straightforward as that. So there's a handy set of formula triangles we can use. And this is exactly what we've been doing in both of those scenarios. To work out the concentration, you take the moles and you divide by the volume of the solution that the moles are in. And again, if you want to find the concentration of a solution using mass, you divide the mass by the volume that the solution's in. And one word of caution, the volume must be in cubic decimeters. So we'll look at a typical calculation now, and I'll start with a work example, and then I've got three more sets of questions that you can try on your own, and then when you're ready to go through the answers, you can play on and listen to me go through them. So the worked example, we've got a mass of sulfuric acid dissolved in water and made up to 400 cubic centimetres, and we need to calculate the concentration of the solution in A, grams per decimeter cubed, and B, moles per decimeter cubed. And you'll notice on the right hand side there, we've got the relative atomic masses of the atoms that make up sulfuric acid. So we'll start with part A, grams per decimeter cubed. So remember, concentration is mass divided by volume. So nice and straightforward, this one, apart from the fact that the volume's got to be in decimeters cubed. So 400 cm cubed is 0.4 of a decimeter cubed. So we've got 32.5 divided by 0 0.4. So we're getting a concentration of 81.3 grams per decimeter cubed. So part B now, remember concentration is moles divided by volume. The problem here is we don't have the moles. We've got the mass of sulfuric acid and we've got the relative atomic masses of the atoms that make it up. So the first thing or extra step we have to do here is we've got to calculate the moles from mass divided by relative molecular mass. So that's 32.5 divided by 98, which is the MR of sulfuric acid, two hydrogens, one sulfur, four oxygens. So that's the beginnings of the calculator value there, 0 0.3316. So now I can divide those moles by the volume. And remember that's 0 0.4 of a decimeter cubed and we get a concentration of 0 0.829 moles per decimeter cubed. So some questions for you to try now. So this is the first set of questions. So if you want to pause the video and try those. There's your next set of questions. And here's the third and final set of questions. Okay, so the first batch, nice and easy, just grams per decimeter cubed, so it's mass divided by volume. So the first one's 10 grams divided by two decimeters cubed. So we've got five grams per decimeter cubed concentration. Next one, nice and easy again, 2.5 divided by 0 0.5. So again, we're getting five grams per decimeter cubed. Next one, 3.8 divided by now 250 cm cubed has to be converted to dm cubed. So that comes out at 15.2 grams per decimeter cubed. And number four, 25.6 divided by 1.55 decimeters cubed, 16.5 grams per decimeter cubed. So the next set of questions, we've got an extra step because we need to calculate the moles first of all from mass divided by MR. Once we've got that, we can work out the concentration by dividing the moles by the volume, but remember it has to be in decimeters cubed. So the first one, we've got that many moles, and all I'm doing here is the calculator value, so this dot, dot, dot here. I'm keeping the full number in the calculator, so I would advise you do that in any calculations, and the final answer comes out at 0 0.0855 to three significant figures. So the next one, we've got those many moles, 
and so the concentration is 0 0.0278. Number three, you'll notice that the volume's in cubic centimeters now, so we need to convert that as part of this calculation as well. So first of all, moles are those many moles, and the concentration, therefore, you can see there's the volume in cubic decimeters, comes out at 0 0.0953. We've got to do a similar thing in number four, so we've got those many moles, and the concentration is 0 0.229. Number five, tricky um, MR to calculate here. So we've got one copper, one sulfur, four oxygens in this part here. And then to that, we're going to add the MR of five lots of water, so five eighteens. That gives us an MR of 249.5. So we've got this many moles. And when you divide by the volume, you get a concentration of 0 0.401 moles per decimeter cubed. So the last lot of questions, they're a little bit different because in these we've got to calculate the mass of the chemical that we would need to dissolve to make these solutions. And we're told the chemical in each question, the volume of the solution we need to make and the concentration it needs to be. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the volume and the concentration to work out how many moles of the chemical we're going to need. So we're now doing moles is concentration times volume. Once we know the moles required, we're going to work out the mass required of the chemical by doing mass equals moles times MR. So it's just playing around with those formulae triangles to get the the quantity that we want. So we'll rattle through the answers now. So the first one, we need 0 0.32 moles of HCl. So mass-wise, that's moles times MR, so that's 11.7 grams we would need to make that solution. Number two, we're going to need 1.8 moles of NaOH, so concentration times volume, and then the mass would be Moles times MR, 72 grams. Number three, a little bit trickier because the volume's in cubic centimetres now. So concentration times this volume, 0 0.08, is 80 cm cubed in dm cubed. So we need 0 0.1 moles of HNO3. So the mass of that will be 6.3 grams. So the last one, you can see the volume again is in cubic centimetres. So we need to convert that to dm cubed. So the moles of calcium hydroxide we're going to need 0 0.87 times 1.25 decimeters cubed. So those many moles. So the mass of that would be moles times MR, so 80.5 grams.